sheet is applied, those images become 100% width. All right? I haven't done anything to style those divs, so those divs are block elements. So they'll stack one on top of each other. When I view the full page, however, I've given those images a width of 300 pixels, and I floated them to the left. And by calculating my container and blah, 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 and all that, I run into where two of them will fit inside of this container. So I get them two by two. In other words, this content area is a little over 600 pixels, and each of those two, each of the images is, um, right, you know, around 300. So you can fit two of them side by side. Again, separation of content and grouping common content so that it can be shared between pages, whether it be between all the pages in the full or between the full and the mobile site. Let's see if there's anything else I want to discuss with this. Let's go... And let's view the mobile page in Firefox so that we can talk about the mobile page for a second. The no mobile page, if you notice, has that app look to it because I've used jQuery mobile. Let's make it look more like a mobile device, like that. look at some of this code, especially the styling. All right. I have my base style sheet right at the top. All right. Again, that's sort of like the basic look, how I want it to be. I then have the jQuery mobile stuff underneath it, the jQuery mobile style sheet here underneath it. And then finally, I have my mobile style sheet underneath that. I didn't feel the need to put a media query on that. If they're on a mobile device, I want them to get that. If they're on a desktop and they're pretending to be a mobile device, I want them to get that style sheet. So I didn't feel the need to put any sort of media query on that. Now notice again what I did. By virtue of putting these data roles on these things, I got that jQuery mobile look to it. That's the hook, in other words. That's what makes this data role list view is what makes it look like a row of buttons. All right? And the fact that there are links there is what gives that little arrow off to the side and gives a little animation when you click one, it slides off and the next page slides in. Notice again that for the most part, most of the content is not on this page. It's in include files because it's shared content. All right. If we were to look at the members page, we'll see that Again, the style-wise, it's the same. And all the content is in include files. The only thing that's different is the structure of it. The structure and the styles that get supplied. The, the meat of the site, the meat of the contents, and include files so that we can share it. Now, there's one last scenario that I want to look at. And I'll bet you... If you think really hard, you'll know the answer to this. Let's disable JavaScript. Let's go up here. And let's go in and figure 
out how to do it. And let's go in and disable JavaScript. Let's see how we do that. Check privacy, security. to say that down the script I wonder. What do you think it's going to look like when, what do you think the mobile site is going to look like when I disable JavaScript? It won't have the bars. Yeah, it won't, won't look like an app. That's for sure. It will kind of just be text. Okay. And, uh, have we, okay. Have we seen, all right, here's, here's the full mobile version with the nice bars and all that. Let's go up here and let's disable JavaScript. Hopefully I can do it in IE. I can never remember where all these settings are. Did it? What does this look like? Where have we seen this before? This is virtually the same as what the page looked like, all right, 
our fallback page, our fallback version of the full page. It's not identical, but it looks a lot like the fallback version of the full site. All right. Why is that? Well, because both of them are using only the base style sheet, right? Because if JavaScript is disabled, then jQuery Mobile can't do its thing. So it can't apply those fancy jQuery styles to it. So what style is it left with? It's left with our base style sheet. Now, it doesn't look identical to the full version in fallback mode, right? Because it's a different page. There's some, there's some HTML changes or, or differences, some small HTML changes between it. But it looks pretty much like the, like the uh, fallback mobile device that got misidentified and sent to, a, uh, sent to the full version of the site. All right? So let's consider what we have here. In the ideal world, where mobiles get directed to the mobile site and um, the full, if you're doing it from a desktop, you get directed to the full site, you'll see the nice full version on the desktop browser and you'll see the jQuery mobile version on the mobile browser. All right? If something goes wrong, if the redirection fails and you get sent to the full site, even though you're a mobile device, you see the very simplified straight text version of the page, which doesn't look great, but it works. It's workable and not much can go wrong. Flip side, if you get directed to the mobile and you do not have JavaScript enabled, what do you get? Just about the same thing. So we've really written, um, I won't say foolproof, but we've really written um, where there's fallback kind of at every level, all right? How did we do that? We did that by combining those techniques. The browser detection, sending to the two separate pages, then within those pages using the notions of progressive enhancement to show and hide content and all that sort of thing, all right, and format the content differently, all right? So I wanted to take an example kind of all the way through, a, a bigger picture example, and work through it. So the code's available uh, to look at, um, so you can download it and review it. Uh, what we will do next week is we will do some more jQuery mobile stuff, because we're not done with that. You know, we're, you know, we've just made a couple neat buttons with that. We're, we, we have a lot more fun that we can do with that guy. So we will spend our time doing that uh, next week. All right. Are you um, still expecting the assignment to be done on due on Monday, or were you still teaching us more about it? You can do the you know enough now to do the assignment for Monday. All right. Yeah. So in a nutshell.